Hi guys, we finally got some spy pictures of the Neo ET5. From the side profile, it doesn't even look like a Neo if you ask me. It looks more like a Polestar or a Model S. But from the front and from the back, we can see from the lights that it does have some elements that it shares with the ET7. And from the side, we can see the door handles are identically the same to the ET7, which I really love the seamless design in the door panels. Now talking about the real base, the real base is rumored to be something between 2850 and 2950 which puts the ET5 in the Xiaopeng P7 territory, the Tesla Model 3 territory, E-Class, 5 Series, Audi A6. So we know this is a luxury mid-size sedan. Price wise the ET5 will be hovering around 40 to 50,000. Uh, US dollars. The ET7 is seventy thousand dollars with the battery. If you go for the battery as a service, you can buy the ET7 for sixty thousands, which 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 makes me think that the ET5 will be fifty thousand with the battery included. And if you go for the battery as a service, you'll be paying in the low ends of the forty thousand US dollars, which is an amazing price considering the fact that you're getting so much more so much quality so much car for such little price i've already talked about the neo et5's importance for neo as a brand and for its profitability and the future of neo i compared it with tesla's model 3 and how the model 3 was essential for the revenue from for the profitability of tesla because when we looked at the last years we can see that the model 3 sold 10 times more than the model s and the truly the Model 3 broadened Tesla's market and made it possible for people to pay for the brand. The same will happen with NIO. The ET5 will be the car that ensures that the mass market in the luxury segment will be approachable. And guys, something very, very important that's being overlooked by a lot of people. I haven't heard anybody talk about this. It's the range and the weight of the NIO ET5. Looking at, for example, Tesla, we can see that the Model 3 and the Model S range in weight from 12 to 20 percent, depending on the model, the specific car you get. Does it have a single motor, or a double motor, triple motor? Is it the plaid version? Does it have the big battery or the smaller battery? So there's a big difference in 12 to 20 percent, 10 to 20 percent difference in weight, which translates into the range of the actual car. So the Model 3 has more range than the Model S if you put the same battery pack in it. Well, looking at the NEO ET7, NEO claims that with the 150 kilowatt hour battery pack, the ET7 will have 600 miles plus of range. This translates to the NEO ET5 with the 150 kilowatt hour battery pack having at least 660 miles of range. And it's most probably close to 700 miles of range this is unseen before this is the first ev that's competing with diesel cars and it's a breaking point for everything in the world because there is no range anxiety anymore there is no fear of anything it's gone once the 150 kilowatt hour battery pack hits in the neo et5 can you imagine what kind of impact it will have on the world I mean, just look at it and compare it with the Model S, the Model 3, or Xiaopeng's P7. It doesn't matter. It's all kids game compared to the Neo ET5's range. So this is the most important thing I wanted to discuss with you guys. The range and the weight the Neo ET5 will have. Let's not forget you're getting a premium vehicle, a premium sedan that's competing with an E-Class, an A6, a 5 Series. And it's, in my humble opinion, it's already better than the Tesla Model 3. I don't even want to compare it with the Model 3 as it's vastly better. So that's really amazing news, guys. Not a lot of people have been thinking about this and it's being overlooked by a lot of people, guys. Looking at the stock price, it doesn't translate right now, but the stock price will follow in the near future. There's no other way than that the stock price will follow. There's a lot of shorting being done in the last couple of days. And even though with the shorting we're hovering around 39 to 40 dollars i'm happy guys because this will be just like last year and we're going to go up up until neo day and who knows what will happen 
we might hit sixty dollars we might hit fifty five dollars but we gotta look at the long term and in the long term NEO is a winner in my book and I hope it's also a winner in your book we have almost 550 battery swap stations in China right now we're gonna have approximately 10,000 cars sold for this month and I do think that the Norway numbers will be added for this month because the sales have already begun everything is looking good there's no bad news anymore about China so I hope you guys have a great week peace out